Hello again. So nearly school term time. Pretty good summer there, but all very odd this COVID year with so many winter like sort of bouts of many viruses from April onwards. The wrong way around, of course. Simply mixing with others after all that relative isolation brings with this uh, new strains of circulating virus looking for a host. Simple as that. Average toddlers sporting about eight coughs or colds annually, so there are some who are never free, whilst others are hardly ever infected. It's just the way it, the way it works. How retro it was, viewing some of those classic bikes this week, those 250cc machines. <laughs> Toy-like, but gosh, weren't they noisy. I had, I'm sure, some ringing in the ears, which smoothed off sort of overnight, thankfully. Air protection for those on such machines, of course, is absolutely necessary, as clearly constant single frequency high pitch sound, 80, 90 decibel plus, is just so awkward for your ears to cope with. I remember, as we probably do in years gone by, leaving concerts feeling numb with ringy ears covered with sort of lingering deafness overnight. Back in those days, we had ready access to wonderful compilations, such as I recall uh, an evening with a top of the bill of Walker Brothers. Next up, Engelbert, followed by Cat Stevens. <laughs> Odd guy. Then this new kid on the block, the very noisy block, Jimi Hendrix, all in one night. Why, I asked my pal, equally holding his fingers in his ears, why is this weirdo playing his right handed Fender Strike guitar left handed? Still, he strutted his stuff all right, then ruined it all by pouring lighter fuel over the neck of the thing, his battered axe, as they called it, before <laughs> igniting it, then walking off stage. Wow! Tinnitus. Now, that's extremely common, if not almost the norm for many years. Often associated with some high-frequency hearing loss, again, unnoticed, but producing some subtle changes in our sort of ability to differentiate sounds in particular environments. For instance, where there is background noise, in other words, like a social setting. The human ear can usually hear sounds within a range of about 20 to 20,000 hertz. Not the car rental company, a unit of frequency. However, this massively changes as you age. In the greater scheme of things, though, we are dwarfs compared with even a tiny rodent, a cat, a dog, or even a cow. They can hear, well, frequencies far higher, let alone a bat or a dolphin, with frequency perception up to 150 kilohertz, seven to eight times higher than us plodding humanoids. Persistent loud noise, though, 80, 90 decibels volume at single frequency ranges, can permanently blunt our hearing. We are not designed for this. Just think about it. What in nature would be so loud? Thunder, clapping, shouting, loud but instant. Hearing levels we can simply quantify as a um, soft whisper or a rustling leave, about 20 decibels. A whisper about 30, speech about 60, shouting a metre away about 80 plus. Motorbike engine, two-stroke or similar, about 95 decibels, massively loud. A bit like that Jimi Hendrix then. <laughs> Think ear protection. Cheap, effective, no good in your pocket. Stick it in your ears. Persistent noise whistling in the ears after such interactions, i.e. bike revving, and boy, those bikers love to rev those bikes, addicted, puzzled by that sound, it seems. It is damaging to your ears, simple as that. And once gone... It's gone. Classically, we see noise induced hearing loss after, say, years working with machines such as drills, routers, and such like, arriving at around about 4 kilohertz, just below the higher threshold bands. We measure this via an audiogram. As we age, the higher tones and frequencies then start to drop off too. In the end, it's like a ski slope loss in the higher frequency range. So you miss the consonants in everyday sounds. The ts, the ch, the ts, s's and t's. Things that link sentences. So when looking at somebody's face, and you're lip reading and realising it, fine. 
but cover their face, have their back turned, have a COVID mask on, and that certainly emphasised this for many, this last couple of years, you can miss a lot of what's being said, particularly when there's background noise. So please, look after your ears. Avoid excessive bouts of Jimi Hendrix-like sounds, although I have to personally say it was Led Zeppelin who really hit my personal ears hard. Playing in a concert hall that was like a concrete block, it was like a bomb had gone off. You couldn't hear it, you could just feel it. It was awful when you think about it. Nowadays, tweeting birds are far more captivating. Yes, at least I can still hear them. No, dear gracias. Until next week, cheerio.